know, there's a lot of ways in which people can take that. And again, I'm just going to talk from from my personal experience and from what we do inside of Escala. So it's not, you know, people people can take different approaches. There's not one size fits all. And that's what we preach a lot in Escala is that, mm -hmm. you know, downloading generic SOPs are never really going to be the panacea to solve all of your life's problems. The reality is we all operate differently. We all have different skill right. sets. And so when we talk about systemizing a business, I think some of the key things to first uh, to first look at when I'm thinking about systemizing a business is that you want to build a system that works for you and not one that you work for. And so the first thing, as I mentioned, is like the downloadable templates. I think there's value in the template itself, but it needs to be customized mm -hmm. to your business. You can't just simply go ahead and go to some, you know, SOP library and think that that's going to be your be all end all. Um, you can take insights, but it's not necessarily going to help you there. Um, taking what we would call the bottom up approach is also something to avoid. So the typical person and I'm starting here because I think it's important because people will have experienced this and they'll start to understand where the differences are. So the bottom up approach as we define it is Let's say, and let's continue to use the seller app uh, example here. So let's say someone mm -hmm. is using seller app for the very first time and their whole responsibility lives inside of every functionality that the seller app app effectively delivers upon. So what they'll do mm -hmm. typically from a bottom up approach is they'll jump in and they'll say, right, this is how we create custom rules. This is how we monitor whatever, whatever the next keyword research. This is how we effectively manage PPC spend. They'll go and they'll define specifically what that function is, but what that fails to address is where does this fit with inside of the entire business ecosystem? So right. I, I, you know, typically the, the thing you find is that I'll build, let's say, Sagarika, you build an SOP and you'll be the person who knows how to find it. And the person who doesn't know how to do the function that you play inside of Seller App will be searching for the thing that you've built that is for them. So we like to push what we call the top-down approach. And the top-down okay. approach follows, and again, taking on our methodology, we have effectively five tiers inside of our process hierarchy. And the very mm -hmm. first one is understanding what your process groups and your core processes are. So. You first want to look at your business and understand what are the key functions that I have in it. So again, for a simple or for a classic FBA business, you'd be looking at things like inventory management, brand management, mm -hmm. customer support, um, uh, maybe finance and logistics. That might be your five core um, your, your core process groups. Now, the next thing that we do taking that top down approach or that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to understand, well, now that I have the core processes and those process groupings, well, what happens mm -hmm. inside of each one of them? So if we take product discovery, for example, inside of product discovery, there'll be an individual contributor at that point. So you'd say the sourcing specialist will have to perform these specific tasks. So now mm -hmm. what, we're, what we're doing when we're talking about systemizing the business is we're taking the top down approach where we understand how does everything actually interact with one another? How is the, and, and the example I think that really hits home is listing creation. Listing creation is one aspect of an Amazon seller's journey where it encompasses so many moving parts. You need to understand when is the inventory arriving? Have I got my product photography done? Is my keyword research done? Have I handled my PPC spend? You know, EBC, A++ content. I mean, the list goes on. You know, I could sit here and probably we could have another 30 minutes just talking about there all the things. There is an entire need. ecosystem. Honestly, I never knew about that before I joined this Amazon business that um, when you see a storefront, you see a product, um, you see a listing and the number of things that are going be behind the scenes to just get that listing to rank it's enormous it's it's always left me in awe of the whole idea of one person trying to handle so many things exactly and that's exactly why he builds systems and processes so <laughs> that you know I, I i often joke um and it's not really that funny but no e-commerce seller entrepreneur started an amazon fba business in order to work you know, 
a hundred hours a week. That's not why you created mm -hmm. it. The idea of entrepreneurship and the freedom attached to it is, you know, it's really, um, it, 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 it's really not um, as accurate as you would think unless you get control of building these systems and building the right mechanisms to, you know, protect your time. And so back to building an effective system, when you understand at a high level what's happening in the business and you start to build, you know, the next subset and the next subset, you sort of fill in the gaps, right? It's way mm -hmm. too hard to take it from the bottom up approach and you'll lose touch of how everything works. Also, just making sure that everything is uniform. Like I was saying before, I mean, if I could share my screen and I could show people, I, I could show visual, tangible examples of what we're talking about here. But I think for context here, in our five layers of our hierarchy, the next one down is activities. So what are the activities that are actually performed? And then the last mm -hmm. stage is is the full-blown SOPs. So this is the individual contributor, what they're doing, who's delivering it, what are the stages, the video informationals, the text, the screenshots, everything that goes into performing mm -hmm. it. So, you know, in our methodology, our firm belief is that it, you should be able to, within 15 seconds, figure out exactly what it is you need to do if you're new to the business or if you're an existing, um, you know, existing team member, you should be able to easily and, and quickly access the information you need to either validate or learn for the first time how you do what you do in any, any aspect. So. Again, at a high level for an audio recording, that is effectively how we approach building systems. Hey, it's Ria Mittal here. Before you leave, make sure to subscribe to SellerApp's main YouTube channel where we upload all things Amazon and some how-to guides that will make sure that you're running on Amazon. You will not get this anywhere else. Until the next time, happy selling.